Algebra 2, section 7-4, solving logarithmic equations and inequalities. So we're going to just start right into um, an example. And, um, oops, solve. I've got log base 36 of x equals 3 over 2. And so um, I'm just solving for x. So I'm going to take this 3 over 2 and jam it up in here. And so I end up with 36 to the power of 3 over 2 equals x. Now I take this 3 over 2 here. This, um, the denominator goes right here. And the numerator goes right here. Or it can go in here. Either way, it can go underneath, inside um, the radical sign, or it can go outside. Either way, <clears throat> it's the same. So um, I'm going to take the square root of 36, which is 6. 6 cubed equals x. 6 cubed is 216. Oops, gosh, well, I'm making everything backwards right now. 216. <laughs> You try one now. Log base 9 of x equals, oh, 3 over 2 again. All right, so let's see, uh, let's see you, see how you do on this one on your own. All right, go. Okay, so I'm going to take this 3 over 2, I'm going to jam it up in there, and I've got 9 to the power of 3 halves equals x. And so um, the denominator goes right here. The numerator goes out here, equals x. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. 27 equals x. All right, let's keep moving. Property of equality. If, let's move this up a little bit, if log base 5 of x equals log base 5 of 8, then x equals 8. So just like when we're using um, <clears throat> exponential equations, uh, exponential expressions, if the base is the same, then um, the exponent, or in this case, this guy here, um, we can ignore the base and just look at the exponent. Um, this is not a base and an exponent situation, but it's a similar, it's the same idea here as far as if it's log base 5 of x, log base 5 of 8, we can ignore the log base 5 and just say x equals 8. All right, so let's do an example. Um, solve. I've got log base 2 of x squared minus 4 equals log base 2 of 3x. <clears throat> okay, um, now I've got log base 2 and log base 2. Okay, so I can just ignore those and just say x squared minus 4 equals 3x. And um, I'm going to subtract 3x from each side. So I've got x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. So I have this x squared and I have this x, and I can't combine the two. But since I have this um, situated in such a way all this equals 0, I can factor this. So x squared, 3x, and negative 4. Um, I can factor this. And I just set it, keep it equal to 0. So um, <clears throat> what do I multiply together to get negative 4 and add together to get negative 3? Um, let's see, negative 4 times 1, negative 4 times positive 1 will get me a negative 4. And if I add those, I get a negative 3. So now I just um, set each of these equal to 0. Oops, plus 1 equals 0 equals 0. So x equals 4, 
x equals negative 1. Okay, now I have these two um, solutions here. x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. <clears throat> now I need to plug these back in here um, to see if, it, if they work or not. And what I mean by that is um, this here cannot be negative. So if I plug in negative 1 to here, I've got um, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so that's not going to work. I can plug it in here, I get negative 3, that's not going to work. If I plug in 4, that's 16 minus 4, that's 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so the four, uh, x equals 4 is okay, but x equals negative 1 is not okay because we can't have a negative number here. Um, <clears throat> and that is because if we would change this to an exponent form, exponential form, we'd have 2 to the something power, I'll just say a, equals a negative number. Um, and that isn't acceptable. Uh, so it would be negative 3 here, right? So there's nothing I can plug into here to make this a negative 3. Or is there? No. There isn't. So, um, so that's why this cannot, be, this cannot be a negative. So this is an extraneous solution, and it doesn't work. So anyway, um, you try one. Make sure you check your answers to see if either of them or any of them will, will make um, the, a negative number in this spot. Log base 3 of x squared minus 15 equals log base 3 of 2x. All right, this is a you try. Go ahead and uh, that one looks very similar to the one that we just did together. Go ahead and get it done. All right, let's see how you did. Okay, these are both log base 3, so I'm just going to ignore the log and write uh, what's here. Subtract 2x from each side. x squared minus 2x plus 15 equals 0. And so now I think, what do I multiply together to get positive 15 add together to get negative 2? So if I, uh, let's see, if I multiply x minus 5 times x plus 3, those will get me a positive 50. Oh, wait, no, that won't work. Oh, minus 15. Oh, good. I just wrote that down wrong. Yikes. That'll give me a negative 15, and that'll give me a negative 2. When I add them, negative 2, multiply them, negative 15. So um, if I set these still equal to 0, I get x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 5. So let's plug these back in here. Okay, 5, that looks fine. I'm going to have 10 here, 10 here. That looks good. Negative 3, that'll give me a negative 6. That one's not going to work. So x equals 5 is the only solution that will work for this one. Let's keep moving here. Property of inequality. Moving right along to inequalities here. If b is greater than 1, x is greater than 0, and log base b of x is greater than y, then x is greater than b to the y power. We're going to write one more little sentence like this down and then and then we'll see if we can figure out what it is we're writing here. If b is greater than 1, x is greater than 0, and log base b of x is less than y, then 0 is less than x is less than b to the y power. <clears throat> okay, b is greater than 1. So that's this part here. So if b is greater than 1, that just means it's, um, it's not 1, and it's not 0, and it's not negative. And so we're, it's greater than 1. Okay. Um, and all of the logs that we're going to look at that's always going to be the case. Um, now, 
x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0, that just means x is not negative. So all we're doing with these two guys here is just saying this is one or this is greater than 1 and this is not negative. Remember we're not allowed to have a negative number here, so it's just setting that up. So uh, all this is saying is if you take this y and jam it in here, you've got b to the y power is less than x. So you have a little, so you're going to jam this up here. The, when the x drops over, this greater than, less than sign f switches as well, or you know it follows the x. So right now the x here is on the greater than side. When it pops over, it's still on the greater than side. Okay, so that's important. Now here on this one, when, when this log is less than y, um, then x plops over the same way, b to the y power, and x keeps the less than sign here, pop. But this also x has to be greater than 0 as well. Because <coughs> remember, x has to be greater than 0. All right. So let's see. Let's do some examples and see if if that um, how how well we understand these couple statements. Okay. Example. Log base three of x is greater than four. So I'm going to take this four, jam it up here. The x drops over there, and this switches. So I've got three to the fourth power, and then boom is less than um, three to the fourth power is less than x. And so 3 to the 4th power, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. So 81, oops, gosh, 81 is less than x, or x is greater than 81. You know, we usually put the x on the left. So there we go. Let's do another example. Um, log base 2 of x is less than 4. All right, so we jam this 4 up in here, the x plops over there, and we have 2 to the 4th power is greater than x. Remember this, um, whatever the, wherever the x was, it retains, it's less than here, it's greater than here, greater than here, less than here. So um, the, the sign follows the x across. Um, 2 to the 4th power, that's 2 times 2, which is 4 times another 4, so that's 16. 16 is greater than x, or x is less than 16. Now, we have to add something here to this one, because this is saying x is less than 17, uh, 16. But it can't be less than 0. So we have to say 0 is less than 6, which is less than 16. Because remember, x cannot be 0. It's, it's got to be greater than 0. x has got to be greater than 0. It's got to be a positive number. Um, let's see, I'm going to say x can't equal 0 is not as good as x has to be greater than 0. It's got to be positive. Okay, um, here, you do one without me. Log base 6 of x is greater than 3. Alright, so go ahead and tackle that one and we'll look at it together. Let's see how you did. 3 jams up in there. 6 to the third power. x drops over here, keeps the greater than. And then um, 6 to the third power. So that's 36 times 3, which is 216, is less than x, or x is greater than 216. All right, let's do um, a little bit more here. A little bit more left with 7-4, not a whole lot. Property of inequality. So we have another property of inequality. And this property says um, log base b of x is less than log base b of y if and only if 
x is less than y. So all we're doing, all we're saying here is the same thing that we were saying with the inequality um, on this side, where we said if the bases are the same, log base 5, log base 5, then we can ignore them and just deal with the numbers here. And so we're saying the same thing, but now instead of equals, it's an inequality. So uh, let's do an example. Solve log base 4 of x plus 3 is greater than log base 4 of 2x plus 1. So um, we've got log base 4 here, so we can just ignore those. And we have x plus 3 is greater than 2x plus 1. Now I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And since we're in Algebra 2, I can also subtract the 1 from both sides. Those x's go away, the 1's go away. 3 minus 1 is 2, is greater than 2 minus x. 2x minus x is x. So 2 is greater than x, or x is less than 2. <clears throat> you try. Um, log base 5 of 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to log base 5 of x plus 4. Now we might do a little bit something over here on this one after we do this one, but let's do this one first. Okay, go. All right, let's see how you did. So um, log base 5, log base 5, so we can ignore those. We've got 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to x plus 4. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides, and I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, and I've got x is less than or equal to 3. Okay. Now we have, um, we need to do something with this. And that is that we need to make sure that x, um, that, that we don't have 0 or a negative number here or here. And so let's solve this one for 0. 2x plus 1 is greater than 0. We need to make sure that this stays not negative. And so um, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, and I've got 2x is greater than negative 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x is greater than negative 1 half. And so x needs to be greater than negative 1 half. So this is the, the, the um, real answer here. And why we don't do the same thing here, I'll find out and get back to you. All right, so um, the, that is 7-4, Solving Logarithmic Equations and Inequalities. Good luck on the homework.